Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tower. I'd like to acknowledge the Warramai First Nations people. That's W-O-R-I-M-I. -I. And welcome to you, your guides, the guides and the universal energies. Yes, I've got a fur baby fast asleep in the background there. Uh, that's my dog Spot. Um, you can see just on his back there, he has a very big black spot, which is why he's called Spot. Okay, uh, entertainment only. I'm looking through my notes. First of all, yes, Mary Trump is Donald's niece. Freudian slip there yesterday. So thank you for all those that uh, reminded me. I was just having one of those uh, brain moments. Um, so much on at the moment. Where on earth do I start? Okay, I want to have a quick look. Um, so Aileen Cannon, I'm not going to have a look at Aileen Cannon, but I'm just going to say yes, she has announced that she is um, indefinitely delaying the trial date for um, the Florida uh, documents trial. Um, not Don't get too worried about that. Um, uh, she is waiting on the Supreme Court to make a decision. They initially, uh, her initial trial date was May. Well, it's very obvious that they're not going to make May. Uh, Jack Smith has uh, come out and asked for a July trial date. Uh, the Trump team has come out and asked for an August-September trial date, although they have said oh, that's a, that'll be unfair because it'll be then ongoing during the election. Uh, I have read several times on it. Uh, first of all, I do see that Aileen Cannon will be removed uh, as the judge on this, uh, on this particular trial, uh, and I do see the trial starting before the election. I don't have it completing before the election, so I wouldn't get too worried about that. Uh, okay, let's have a look. Stormy Daniels. I might just do how how Trump's feeling after Stormy after Stormy Daniels testified. Uh, Stephanie Clifford. I do like to call her by her um, her actual name, Stephanie Clifford. It's almost like uh, what's happening is Stormy Daniels is her. Uh, public facade name, but she's taking back the power of her own birth name as well. So how does he feel? Well, as I was shuffling, what have I got? The seven of uh, wands there. He's frantically uh, trying to defend himself, but, you know, the two odd, he's got the two odd feet on, the bumblebees are coming for him about uh, what happened in his past. Apparently, he's just stared ahead while... Um, while uh, Stephanie Clifford entered the courthouse and then uh, during her testimony uh, he uh, was looking away, looking in another, uh, looking away with his head down. Didn't go to sleep during this particular uh, uh, this particular witness, uh, and apparently he was heard uh, exclaiming at one stage during her testimony uh, that. Uh, um, it was a BS or a something along those lines. Now, um, I have seen that uh, he will he will find himself confined uh, due to not being able to hold on to the gag order. What have we got? The Six of Swords and then the Eight of Swords there. He will find himself in a holding cell because the judge will move forward, um, you know, a couple of hours after trial. So we'll see how that plays. want to have a look. So um, Stephanie Clifford, Stormy Daniels' testimony was, it was more of an emotional uh, setting a foundation, uh, confirming uh, that um, uh, she did get paid the money. This uh, something that came out in Cohen's testimony that I'm going to have a look at as well. Cohen apparently admitted that he had paid 50000 to a polling company to fudge the, <laughs> fudge the polling figures. So I'll have a look at that in a moment uh, in a separate reading. Uh, I haven't believed a poll uh, for about 10 years now because of those very reasons and the fact that uh, they tend to call people on landlines. Um, goodness me, does anyone under 40 own a landline in this day and age? And uh, for those of us that uh, uh, I've received polling phone calls that my mobile phone, my cell phone takes automatically to spam. So I don't answer them anyhow. So, but let's have a look. Uh, how's Trump feeling using my trip and weight tarot? How's he feeling after Stephanie Clifford's testimony? How's he feeling? Well, there's the lover's card. <laughs> it was about a contract and, well, two major arcana, the lovers and justice. 
So he, well, first of all, in this lover's card, the male in this card is looking down. Um, it's a, almost like it's an unbalanced relationship. She has the power in regards to this. I'll just move that over. Uh, and he is facing justice. Oh, and it's not going to go well. He's not feeling very well in regards to this. Uh, this toxic devil energy and complete and utter downfall. Now, I'm not. This is not about how he's feeling. This is about how it's going to go for him. So we've got the devil. So three major arcana, and then the ten of swords. He's not going to win this case. It's it's going to. Um, he's going down for it. Um, and it may lead to, with the Four of Swords there, this health event. I've been seeing now, gosh, it's nearly two years since I've had that vision of him being uh, in the drooling away in the uh, care in the military hospital. Um, still as clear as day. And ever since I had that vision, I've never had good cards for his health. But how's he feeling after the testimony of Stephanie Clifford? slash Stormy Daniels. How's he feeling? Well, that card, thank you. How's he feeling? Oh, he's feeling very, oh, um, oh, okay. Right, I did, sorry, I'm just holding on because um, I did see uh, a month or so ago him almost um, vomiting or spit, splitting up, spitting up blood and I just suddenly feel like I want to to puke for an Australian word, puke to 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 vomit up. Oh goodness me! Oh, okay. Let, let's okay. Can I let go of that energy, please? Okay. Oh, he's oh gosh. Okay, so okay. How's how is Hunt um, feel? After that testimony, not good, not, oh, yeah, it's, oh, goodness, okay. Let it go, let it go. Right, come on down, let's have a look. This card wanted to come out. Knight of Cups, right, the testimony is being presented, being brought forward. As I said, it's an emotional testimony more than, factual it's not it's setting the foundation for the documents to be presented um but it's yeah it's uh, she was asked uh, how he she feels about him and she said that she hates him uh, because of what he's done to her life by calling her uh, awful awful names etc and turning the maggers on to like basically setting the maggers on to her um, so yeah, this was the this was the testimony that she brought forward. Very emotional. Um, yeah, it was a harsh truth. Two knights bringing forward information. It was a harsh truth that was brought forward. It was harsh for him to swallow. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it was yeah. He laid it bare. She absolutely laid it bare. Um, the energies behind the scenes. Terrible, terrible cards for Trump for energies behind the scenes. Um, desolation out in the cold. Um, it is my moral, financial, ethical corruption card as well. But I did ask about how he's feeling and this your oh, awful, awful energy and that the, the the legal circle is is he's feeling trapped now beware a caged animal who feels he's trapped uh he's feeling very much like this information that's coming out i mean he he did it to himself he can shrug off the blindfold and step out by being truthful by being honest and say yes i did this no he's the trapped caged animal who's um seeing basically his legacy destroyed before his eyes. Okay. Oh. Ah. Right, we've got here then the Six of Pentacles. So we go from the Five to the Six of Pentacles. This is very much about uh, paying off 
to cover up and and her being fearful. So she was fearful that when he became president, uh, he would not come through with the payment. And she said that very clearly from what I understood. So this is almost like a reluctance to pay off. But it, this is about payments being made. Um, and the message is incredibly burdensome for him. Chaotic and burdensome. Uh, I don't, I'm getting the feeling he doesn't know what to say. He doesn't know how to counter this, is what I'm feeling there. He's, it's, it's a chaotic, uh, but he's ending to, to him trying to trudge forward. Okay. Karma hanging over him. Balance. How he can juggle this, how he can pour it. We've got one foot in the water for the emotions, one foot on land for the practicality. Although in this particular card, it looks like both feet are in the water to a degree. So emotional, I'm going to say emotionally unbalanced at the moment. Um, about this, the karma hanging over him in regards to this. It's about the relationship. He's, he's, he's trying to work out how he can spin uh, the relationship. I just don't think it's going to work. Um, I think his mind, again, uh, this is a five. It's about an obstacle that needs to be overcome. I'm feeling this is internally within his mind. His mind is just simply... Um, how do I how do I put this, guys? His mind is is in chaos as as he's battling. It is the end of a cycle for him. Uh, this may even tip him um, further into his dementia, um, childish behaviour. I did ask about how he's feeling. For those that know, understand uh, and have been with people that have gone through dementia, they tend to plateau and then they plunge and then plateau and plunge. No, oh, this is not good for him. Absolutely not good. And then we've got the devil energy there again. Uh, he has a decision to make, a really important decision to make. With all these this these this information that is coming forward, a difficult decision about which way to go forward because it's coming out regardless of whether he wants it to or not. Oh boy, oh boy! Here is uh, Stephanie Clifford bringing forward her testimony. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles. It's about healing. It's about. Um, uh, Ethics, it's about um, um, bringing forward truth, value. She's doing it for her self-protection. She shone a light on this um, as an independent woman against this powerful man. She's bringing forward some secrets. Uh, that are emotionally really difficult to deal with. This is a, a part of her healing process as well. Okay, so Donald, the outcome, not good, not good for him. I just want to have a look at him on a more, uh, so that's the energies behind the scenes for him. I then had... The Empress, which is perhaps, I keep getting this, uh, the Emperor is going down, absolutely. Um, I keep getting there's a third woman and I'm wondering whether it was a pregnancy. Let's have a look. Yeah, the Emperor, he just cannot carry this load any longer. But let's have a look. What is actually going to happen? Now, if you remember reading from the other day with the gag order, did see him, he won't be able to control himself and he'll be chilling his heels for, 
chilling his heels for a few hours in the um, in the holding cell. But I see it after the trial, after the everybody else goes home type thing. Uh, and then two major arcana, which is yes and yes. Uh, three major arcana, yes, yes and yes, uh, that he won't be able to help himself in regards to the gag order. We've got the justice card here. He's messaging that's put out that's going to wound him. Uh, and then we've got sort of secrets coming to the surface, foolishness in regards to this relationship or attacking. With, oh, Pat, he's going to say something about, about Stephanie. I'm just going to put it out there. He's going to say something about Stephanie. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. I do wonder whether it'll be a Tuesday, but he, I'm not going to. Uh, I do feel it may be a Tuesday, so it might be next Tuesday. Because there will have to be some planning done. The Secret Service agents will have to tell their family they're going to be late home, <laughs> that sort of thing. Uh, There's just going to be some, maybe a Tuesday is what I'm feeling. But let's have a look. How is, for Trump, how is Stephanie's testimony going to play out for him? How is Stephanie slash Stormy's Testimony going to play out for Donald. Ooh, you want, you want those ones. Okay. We'll let him drop. Yeah, there's two cards there. Okay, come on, let's see how it's going to play out for Donald. Right. Okay. It is going to be a legal crossroads moment for him. This is, as I said, it's setting down a foundation. So it's a it's a crossroads moment to to put in the foundation of um, the next stage of the trial. Uh, yeah, this it's about the money trail. So the foundation is being laid. Now they're going to bring forward the, in, the factual information about the money trail. Um, how's it going to play out for them? Judgment. Absolutely. Judgment moment for him where... He cannot deny. In the past, uh, we've some some readers call this four of four of one. Some people call it the celebration card. To me, it's very much about there's there's messaging surrounding this couple in the middle that are going rah 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 blah 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 celebrate celebrate. But everybody that attended the celebration are leaving on a fast horse. So this is the past. The past was him him carrying on. This may have even been the election win, but the messaging is going the message that's going to come forward will entrap him. So it may be him and celebrating the the um election win. Yeah, this is karmic for him. Karma coming and biting him on the bum big time. It is it is of its time. Now, for those that lament the fact that Trump was president, yes, oh my goodness, talk about a horrific however many years, what are we up to, eight, nine years now? Absolutely ghastly period. However, if he hadn't been made president, all this that is coming out about the um, corrupt individuals, and I'm talking about uh, Federalists of Society, Leonard Leo, Heritage Foundation, uh, the the likes of, of um, MTG and uh, uh, Mark Meadows and, you know, everything that has come out of this and all the loopholes that uh, Trump exposed, not showing tax returns, etc. none of this would have been dealt with. None of it would have been brought to the light and the corruption would have just kept, continued on uh, along its merry way. So. It is karmic what's happening in the immediate future. So this is coming, well, three major arcana straight straight up here. Um, first of all, his star, he's frantically trying to hang on to any semblance of his, his rising star that he had. But this is also about the best of the court systems coming to the fore. This is how the court system is supposed to function. 
So it is about the best about the court system while living in a democracy externally. Oh dear, sorry, poor Don. Um, yeah, he's going to find that the truth, the moon which shines on the uh, secrets coming to the surface, he's going to find himself restricted. And this may even be him doing something that will find him in a jail cell internally. It's my voter card. So how's it going to affect Donald? Ending of happy families, perhaps? That was me doing a big sign, in case you were wondering. Um, yeah, an ending of the happy families, hopes and fears, information about dark money being brought to the surface. Um, how's it going to go? He's going to be seen and heard for who he truly is, which is going to be a very uncomfortable position for him. And you have a look at all the figures in the background. Again, very similar. He's going to try and spin it, but it's not going to work well for him. It's very much similar to this card. And those in the background looking away, not they're not actually cheering. They're holding the wand, uh, holding the message, but they're not celebrating. He's going to find himself laid bare, fully exposed about when at any cost, the lies, the deceit, the betrayal. Again, you've got people walking away from him, uh, his abuse of his position and walking away. He's he. How's it going to play out for him? He's going to, there are people, lot. there are a number of people that are going to be really turned off by what has been, what is coming out. So this is not so much about Donald himself. This is more about, yeah, it is Donald, but it's more also about his supporters. Uh, he's going to try and manipulate this, but it's not going to work. It's not going to work. So how's this going for Donald? Not good. Again, not good. Uh, he's he's going to try and play it to his own benefit. I don't know if you ever go over. If you put in um, Donald Trump on Chris Social or something, you can have a look at the page without having to sign up. Uh, the amount, considering he's got however many supposed followers, he doesn't get a lot of hearts or re re posting of what he says. There's the support over there is just not happening, and it's not happening in real life either. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, I think there's going, yeah, it's not again. It's not going to play play well for Donald. Okay, love to you all. Take care. Bye bye.